I'm Daisy Nell, and I'm going to read you a story today called The Stowaway Mouse. And it takes place on the day that the schooner Ardell was launched in Essex, right near where we are today. We're at Maritime Gloucester, and right outside this window is the real schooner Ardell. Well, if you saw this book and you see the cover, Ardell is painted green. But if you came to Maritime Gloucester and saw the real Ardell, you'd say, wait a minute, could that really be the schooner Ardell? That schooner is painted gray. Well, the story is that on the day that Harold went to paint the boat, he ran out of green paint. So Ardell is now gray and she has a beautiful red stripe along the whole side. So if you see the real Ardell, you'll say, oh, that's the, that's the schooner that was in the story. But I don't know if we can believe everything that's in this story. It's just a fun story called The Stowaway Mouse with drawings by George Ulrich. There were people gathered all around to see the new schooner in this old town, down by the river and ready to go out to the bay where the oceans do flow. There was a little mouse, but people couldn't see him. He lived inside of the Essex Museum. He never went farther than he dared. He was a little mouse and he was scared. So many had come to see the new boat, to see her splash and see her float, built brand new and named Ardell, the sights she'd see no one could tell. Wind and whales and waves that splash, sun and rain and lightning flash. The mouse took a breath and one, two, three, he scampered up the frame and off to sea. Oh no, what are you going to do now that you've become a member of the crew? Oh no, where are you going to go? Heading off to sea where the big winds blow. No one saw him. He was on board. He scurried down below where the food was stored. He found a pair of the captain's shoes and crawled right in for a little snooze. He woke up feeling a stream of air blowing through the boat, right through his hair. He ran and hid in the coffee pot and there was the captain tying up a knot. The boat was rocking back and forth, heading out to sea, east by north. The mouse was hungry, but he was afraid. He saw a crate of apples that he could raid. He took a little bite and it went crunch. And that was the end of the mouse's lunch. The captain hollered and he did yell, mates, we got a Mickey on the schooner Ardell. Oh no, what are you going to do now that you've become a member of the crew? Oh no, where are you going to go? Heading off to sea where the big winds blow. Well, the mouse, he did skedaddle up to the deck. He tried to get a grip without breaking his neck. Just when the mouse was feeling fine, along came the captain and his crew of nine. Yo, heave ho, and raise the sails, climbing up the rigging to look for whales. The captain said, as he gazed upon the sea, better find Molly and bring her to me. The captain stood behind the wheel. The mouse was in a hole near the captain's heel. Oh, here comes Molly, the crew did cheer, but no new person did appear. The mouse looked out, he took a chance, then ran like crazy up the captain's pants. For there was Molly, tall and mean, the biggest old cat he'd ever seen. Oh no, what are you going to do now that you've become a member of the crew? Oh no, where are you going to go? Heading off to sea where the big winds blow. The little mouse ran, he did his best. He hid in the pocket of the captain's vest. Underneath his hat, he then did sneak. He didn't really dare, but he had to peek. He saw then what the sailors knew. The captain kept a mouse catcher on the crew. The captain shouted like a thunder crack, ready about, we're turning back. The captain said then in a voice so low, hey little mousie, Back home you go. You see, this voyage was our practice run, but I'll have to send you packing when the day is done. You would never get away from my old cat, and I can't keep you under my hat. But now you have a story forever to tell. For a day, you were crew on the schooner Ardell. 
Oh no, what are you going to do now that you've become a member of the crew? Oh no, where are you going to go? Heading off to sea where the big winds blow. And that's the story of the stowaway mouse.